Tell us about getting the chance to be the Murray State head coach and what it's been like since you were hired. Obviously, being a head coach of Murray State is obviously an unbelievable opportunity, tremendous tradition, fan support, facilities, commitment to winning. Uh, a lot of great coaches have been there, a lot of great players. Um, just overwhelmed and privileged for the opportunity. And obviously, since May 23rd, it's been very hectic. Um, and now that the season started to get you know into full swing, where you've, you've got to a better schedule. You know, May, June, July, you're running around recruiting, putting the staff together, summer camps, <clears throat> summer school. We had a Toronto uh, foreign trip, but now I'm more into a daily routine, so it's slowed down a little bit. Is the fact you already had been an assistant coach with the program make the transition easier? Yeah, it makes the trans. There's, there's some, you know, obviously positives to being there already and being there the last five years. I know everybody players that you know seven of the players that are in the program they know me administration the community have a really good feel for everybody but obviously when you go from an assistant head coach uh, regardless of where it's at there's some new foreign things that you got to get used to what type of style of play can we expect from this team uh, we've got two we've got some really good guards well obviously if we could first and foremost we want to keep our foundation of being good defensively and causing turnovers defensively really pressuring the basketball denying passing, passing lanes, and then scoring off our defense. And, you know, enable to for us to run, I want to run and push with Isaiah Cannon and a freshman we have Zay Jackson. I want to create good scoring opportunities, easy scoring opportunities, but you do that by being good defensively. What do you think about the conference this year? I think this conference is going to be the best it's been in a long time. Uh, you look at what the OVC's done. You know, Moorhead went to the second round last year. We went to the second round two years ago. So our conference has really made strides. You know, it doesn't get the respect it deserves that I think from a national standpoint. But you look at Tennessee Tech, Austin P, Moorhead, ourselves, uh, Tennessee State, SEMO, we're going to be very good. It's be the deepest league this league has been a long time. What do you like most about your team this year? Uh, I think our character is really good. And I think that's been the mainstay of our program the last couple years is toughness and great character. And, you know, we've got to continue to develop our toughness, continue to get better defensively because it's new, it's early in the season. But our character is good and our leadership is good and is continue to get better. What is the biggest challenge for your team this year? Uh, being able to fight through a tough non-conference schedule. Now guys are stepping into different roles. The last two years we've lost five all-league players that are gone from our program now. So guys that have been role players need to step into starting roles and now the, there, there's more pressure on those guys. And then, you know, with a tough non-conference schedule, you got to make sure that you continually get better, you know, and without guys getting down after a loss. You're, you're still looking at your biggest goal, and that's to win the OVC. Tell us about your schedule this year. You, you all get to travel to Anchorage to play in the Great Alaska Shootout. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we're all over the place. We're in Baltimore. We play Morgan State. And Coach Tindall was in here earlier talking about his schedule. You know, a lot of good non-conference schedules in our league, but we play Morgan State to start the season, who will be picked to win the MEAC. We go to UAB, a NCAA tournament team last year, Conference USA champion. We go to Alaska, which we open up at Alaska Anchorage, and they've got a great facility. It'll be a sold-out crowd to open up the year there with them in that tournament. We go to Memphis, who's Final Four caliber team. We go. We have Dayton at our place, who's been NIT Final Four two out of the last three years. We have Arkansas State at our place, picked to win the Sun Belt. So, great non-conference schedule. We go to Western Kentucky to keep that rivalry going. So, we'll we'll be very tested in the non-conference. All right. Thanks, coach.